Here's an article from notthebee.com. Uh, basically, a quick primer. I'm sure most of you have already heard about the Joe Rogan stuff and everything. This specifically involves him using the N-word over the you know the course of I'm not sure how many different episodes it was in and stuff. You know, and he's he's a, he even apologized for it and stuff, which I I don't know if it's ever you know because like the context of him saying that was never in like as far as I know was never in the context of like you you know N word dirty, horrible, you know, like, like, he was never, like, being hateful, I don't think, you know, plus also, he's a comedian, comedians say, hey, you know, are offensive things a lot, I, basically, I think this is the kind of thing where it's, like, people are just trying to blow this up because, you know, the mainstream media hates Joe Rogan, because he's more popular than ever, but anyway, best-selling author Don Winslow slammed Joe Rogan for that N-word clip, then someone looked through his books, uh-oh, basically, uh, he's a type of liberal public figure who ought never to hop on a new pop culture cancellation. Here's his tweet to The Rock. You're a hero to many people and using your platform to defend Joe Rogan, a guy that has used and laughed about uh, using the N-word dozens of times is a terrible use of your power. Have you actually listened to this man's many racist statements about black people? I can tell you right now, I have never heard Joe Rogan say racist you know, statements about black people. I've never heard him say... Uh, sexist comments about women. I've never heard him say racist comments about Asian people or Native American or uh, Hispanic, Latino, so on and so forth. I've, I've never heard him say transphobic stuff, homophobic, whatever it is. You know, I've never heard him say that stuff. Now, maybe I'm wrong. I, haven't, I don't, you know, I don't, I don't personally know Joe. I wish he did. <laughs> you know, I'd ask him for a loan. But anyway, but it's just complete bullshit. And of course, The Rock replied like the little, you know, simping guy he is. He's got to, you know, oh, oh, thank you, thank you, and all this kind of stuff. You know, anyway, the thing is, if you've seen the Rogan clip, which I'm sure you have, then we're all clear on the rules of the game. A white person is not allowed to communicate the N-word ever, even if quoting someone else, even if describing a situation, right? Well, someone decided to go ahead and do a quick scan through some of Winslow's best-selling books. And what do you think they found? Language warning plus pack a lunch. Because so apparently there's a lot. Here it is. There's, I, I'll just quickly go through this stuff, because I... I'm not, you know, I'm not one of those people who's like, oh, I could say the N-word. No, I don't, I'm not going to say the N-word. You know, I'm, I'm just not going to, but it goes you know, on and on and on and on. Apparently there's a ton of instances, like a ton. That's just a quick sample. Can you imagine how many N-words would appear if you surveyed every word Winslow's ever written? Oh, that's completely different, right? Give me a break. Live by the book that way. I'd say poor Winslow's clock is ticking. Now the thing is, these are books that he's written, and the, the context is basically characters in the book are saying the N word, which is very similar to what Joe Rogan did, basically. But this Winslow fucker, he wants Joe canceled and all this kind of stuff, and it's like, dude, you wrote the N word more times than Joe Rogan has said. You know, on a, on a show and stuff. So it's like, get the fuck out of here, dude. I was seriously like, what the hell are you, what the hell, you know? I mean, you, you, you sound like a, a whining little simpering piece of shit, you know? Here's, like, I guess a, a clip, or not a clip, but like a picture that somebody put where they inward, inward. All the greens are inwards, basically. And it's like, what the hell, dude? You know, and again, like, like the article says, you live by the woke, you die by the woke. What the hell? What's your justification? Now, I do expect a simpering apology from this Winslow. Oh, God, I didn't know the hate I was doing. I'll, I'll make a, a, a donation to Black Lives Matter or something. That's probably what I'll end up doing. Anyway, I'll go ahead and wrap this up here. I just, you know, another another hypocrite, you know, exposed, so to speak, I guess, by, you know, not the bee.com in this instance. It's not, not the uh, Babylon Bee is what they're trying to say. But anyway, uh, thank you very much for watching and have a good one.